Hi, I'm Marcel Cohen, the president of Emtech Systems. A lot of people ask me, how did Emtech get started? When I think about that question, I go back to when I was a young boy. I grew up in Venezuela. Uh, my dad was in the poultry industry, and he had to visit the farms every weekend. Uh, he always said, hey, why don't you come along with me? And of course, you know, I'd rather go and play sports, I'd rather do other things, but, you know, we went with dad. He bribed us for different things, and we visited the farms. I didn't realize, but that was like the entry point to poultry for me, to this whole business. Anyways, after I graduated from college, I started to look for work, and one night my dad was talking to me and he said, have you thought about creating a software that can help the poultry industry to manage the companies, to manage the farms, to manage the facilities? I was like, no, of course I haven't been thinking about that. But my dad came up with that idea because it was a need for him. His job, when he went to visit those customers, required to see all this data. He needed to see the information in order to help those customers, but that was not available. Everything was all over the place, paper, pencils, there's no databases. I did a little research and I found one guy had it in Arkansas. His name is Mike Walker. So we visited, got together, and I realized he did have something. I mean, there was a, a good start. It was a planning system specific to breeding. So I said, all right, there's a chance right here. I knew we needed to bring somebody else to help us grow this company. So I got in touch with Simon, and Simon was working in Venezuela. Funny enough, he was running restaurants. He was part owner of some restaurants, and he listened to me for a few minutes and he said, I was crazy. He said, well, what, what do you mean we're gonna get into poultry? I said, Simon, I think there's a big chance. This could be awesome. And then I needed somebody to help me with projects, implementation, help with the sales, and that was Chris. Next thing you know, it's all three of us working out at a kitchen in Atlanta. We can feel the success, but really we're still kind of like iffy. We don't know if this company is really gonna work out. I guess this is the same story for every software company. So we started to work with the big companies, and I remember one of the funny stories was, one of them said, hey, can we come to your office and you can do a big demo and show us your product? And we're like, whoa, whoa, hold on now. We only have a kitchen. And long story, that was our first huge sale. That's when everything changed from a small idea, a small company to a real thing. Now we need to hire people, which means we need to move from the kitchen to a real office. And we did that. And then we need to grow internationally. So we built an office in Mexico, we built an office in Brazil, and this company grew to 170 employees. Today we have hundreds of partners, customers, and integrators. So what's next for Entech? You know, I mean, we have achieved so much. We have gone from a small company in the kitchen with a few customers to hundreds of customers and partners. And it's all about innovation. This is what drives the company. This is what wakes me up in the morning. I'm ready to innovate and come up with new ideas. And it's really exciting where we are today because of all the technologies that are made available to Entec. Then we took it to the next level when we started to add devices to capture the information real time. You look at now, and we have with IoT, installed at the farms, we're picking up information real time every five minutes. At the same time, we're putting back in algorithms to predict using machine learning what is gonna happen with the animal. So it's, it's really exciting to see how Emtech has gone through this massive evolution in just 25 years. The key is how we work with our customers, which we call partners. We know we have to do this together because every product that Emtech's ever developed and will continue to develop will be in conjunction with a customer. We solve the problems together. We all know what we're up against. The population is growing, the square footage doesn't change. We've heard this over and over again. So for Emtech, it's always been about where do we play a role in helping our customers achieve this? How do we produce more with the exact same amount of resources efficiently? It's the innovation that we're always working on to try to help our customers solve those daily problems. That's what drives us all. That's the passion that we have in this company. What's the why behind Emtech? It really is to help our customers, to help the industry increase the yield. We also want to protect the animal. We have to do this without damaging the planet. This is what drives Emtech. This is our passion that we have today. And we're always going to be pushing our products to help our customers achieve this. And when I look back, I can see an innovation revolution that started 
three decades ago and it has changed the farming industry forever.